All right, our um, chicken is, or turkey and stuffing is done. Um, it's cooked for 45 minutes. Um, your, your chicken and stuffing is going to be very moist, and man, this smells really good. Um, we're going to let this cool off, and uh, and then uh, we'll get it up into the dehydrator, and uh, I'll show you how to package it all up. We're going to do it a little different. Um, Babblefish Five off of the uh, Hungry uh, Hammock Hanger website. Uh, showed me a little different way um, on some of his videos on how he does it. He uses parchment paper inside his um, um, back seal bags, and it seems to help because uh, this stuff can get kind of pokey when you uh, when you dehydrate it. So uh, we'll get that done, and um, we'll post the videos. Okay, so. I only have one of these fruit roll-up trays for my Nesco dehydrator, so I'm going to use some parchment paper. I just traced it out on uh, this parchment paper, and you fold it over, line up your lines, and then cut everything out, and uh, it'll work just fine. All right, we got all of our uh, turkey and stuffing in our dehydrator. Uh, follow the instructions for your dehydrator. Um, I used uh, the parchment paper underneath here because um, I don't have enough fruit roll-up trays, so it works great. Anyway, um, we're going to put this on for about uh, 10 to 12 hours um, at 160 degrees, my highest setting on my Nesco. Um, because we're using meat in this in this dish, so um, this uh, turkey and stuffing turned out a little bit salty. So next time I think I'll just uh, omit the uh, kosher salt. Um, I suspect it had a lot to do with the uh, chicken gravy mix, but uh, it's still tasty. Uh, we'll be back with the finished product. All right, we're all done dehydrating. Everything will come out kind of like kind of like a cracker or oatmeal or something. I don't know. But it's all very dry. Um, everything came out very well. Um, your serving size is going to be about two cups. Um, one thing I found uh, on the Yankee Preppers um, website uh, or YouTube site is he puts everything in a bag from here. I can't really do it one-handed, but uh, it all goes in here, and you don't have to touch it again like I was just doing. But you don't have to touch it again. You can use the bag, uh, scoop everything out, and uh, put it in your vacuum sealer bags. Um, we'll be back with uh, packaging. Hey guys, uh, I ended up with five packages of uh, two cup servings, sealed up quite well. Got them all labeled up, ready to go. And I had a little bit left over, so I'm going to show you uh, what what it looks like when uh, you rehydrate it. Just want to cover it with enough hot water so you just barely cover it let it sit for about 15 minutes or so 10-15 minutes um, give it a good stir and uh, adjust the water if you need to um, and that's pretty much it okay, well my first one uh, demonstration of how to use parchment paper didn't come out quite right uh, so we're going to do this again um, take a piece of parchment paper fold it in half don't have to be perfect. I like to roll my edges a couple of times. Found that works better. And do the other side. Depending on the size of your uh, back bag, I guess. Listen, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then what I do is just cut it down to the size across the top. Depending on how big of a deal you're using. Put this in your pouch or in your back bag. We've got a nice little pouch in there. And put your product in your pouch. This keeps it from poking through 
the uh, facts you'll have. You can lay it all down there. Here with anything. Of course, making a video it all screws up. Get this dude fired up. seal just because I mean all right and that's it um, if you want to pan over here this is where we've rehydrated everything still got a little bit to go the meat's still a little little hard but it's edible right now just the way it is Tastes like turkey and uh, stuffing. Not bad. <laughs>